okay <coughs> so good morning students and welcome to the uh, the another video another online lecture for the engineering topics okay so <coughs> in the last lecture in the uh, we have discussed about how we have just taken the introductory part of the engineering graphics so first of all what is in with this this engineering drawing so i so i have already explained to you <coughs> the engineering drawing is the universal language for the engineers okay so whatever we can't express through the text okay so that we can explain with the help of the drawings okay so that's why the engineering so drawing is it is part of the universal language for the engineers okay now these are the course outcomes from the engineering graphics okay so for six units we have to we uh, that means at the end of the course you must uh, you uh, that uh, you must learn all these things from each unit so from the unit number 1 we are going to learn about the fundamental engineering objects using the basic rules and able to construct the simple geometry. Okay, so when we complete our unit number one, so you must be able to uh, uh, that be, uh, be able to say that that you have learned about the fundamentals of engineering objects uh, using the basic rules and able to construct the simple geometry. So we'll see this one. So we'll first uh, we'll complete this unit number one, that is CO number one. Okay. Now I have already discussed about the teaching schemes and the examination schemes. Uh, when it is an offline uh, course or whenever it is offline subject, so we have we don't have in same examination. We have only have the in same examination of 50 marks. Okay, and the duration of that examination is to uh, uh, the two and a half hour. Okay, and some works practicals it is of 25 marks. So that is also with the external and the total is 75 marks. So this is for the offline examination. Uh, most probably the exam will be online and here here also the end same examination is there uh, that is that that will be for 50 marks duration may be one hour or one or one and a half hour so that that will i will convey afterwards okay and definitely we have the practical examination uh, here also for the uh, engineering graphic that is for the 25 marks so only the changes in the time uh, here this is uh, two and a half hour uh, here may be one and a half hour or it is only one hour for the uh, in the online mode okay so that is the only change the mark will remain same we don't have in same examination okay so in same examination is not there for the engineering graphics we have directly the end same examination based on the four units okay so based on four units so the units are unit number three four and five and six Okay, so these four units are there for the end same examination. Unit number one and two, these are the basic units are on uh, these are the basic are uh, basic units are there. Okay, so we'll take the basics from these two units and we'll then apply in the unit number three to six. Okay, so you have to concentrate it uh, concentrate mainly on unit number three, four, five, and six. Okay. Then <clears throat> this is the uh, the course content I have already shown to you. Uh, unit number one and unit number two. These are the basics. So from unit number three to unit number six. Okay, so we have the examination or end same examination on this one. Okay, so end same examination is based on unit number three to six. Okay, but this this first two units are uh, very important because these are these are this is contain the basic concepts. Okay, so until we know the basic concepts, we can't go to the to, to the unit number three to five and six okay now here the uh, textbooks are empty but okay when gopal Bhule, uh this uh, ratnam you, uh, you can search these books on the internet you will get i will i will post this bird book on the on, on our google classroom okay there are local books are also there i will i will post the names of the local books you can you can take uh, that from the uh, market Okay. And I, I will also give you the uh, we require the uh, the instruments. Okay, so drawing instruments. So a list of drawing instruments also I will give you after this uh, or after this lecture or I will post on the also group and the Google Classroom. So that is required. Okay, not 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 today, but afterwards so you required while while we will we'll deal with the unit uh, the next lecture. Okay. Okay, <clears throat> so we'll, let us start with the unit number one. That is the basic uh, the concepts of the engineering drawing. Now, here the first part is given the need of engineering drawing and design. Okay, now why why there is why there is a need of engineering drawing? I already explained the engineering drawing is the is the language of the engineers. Uh, whatever we can we can't explain uh, using this uh, the text. We can explain with the help of the drawing. Okay, so the drawings are very important. Okay. 
now what is the what is the uh, the, uh, the difference between the design and the drawing design means when whatever something comes to you in, in your mind okay so we will design this this one okay so this is the suppose if you if you want to develop some uh, uh, the what the gear or something like this okay okay so this is what this is the drawing of the gear but what is the design of the gear whatever the uh, that means the dimensions of uh, these gears are there or what type of the formula we are using for the uh, for, de for for de for the designing of, uh, for uh, for the uh, manufacturing of the gear so that is our design okay so design requires what design requires mathematical formulation design required most mathematical formulation but drawing uh, it doesn't require mathematical formulation drawing uh, it is only the representation of the designs in the form of the sketch okay so that is the difference between the design and the drawing okay so so this is clear so what is what is the what is the difference between design and the drawing design is uh, that means some uh, whatever we are designing uh, suppose if we are doing some product so whatever the mathematical formulations we are doing for that one we required here formulas we required here uh, the the uh, the, uh, the assumptions okay so that is there in the design <clears throat> but in drawing we don't have this one mathematical formulations are not there it is only the sketch okay so that is there now what is the applications of this the, uh, the engineering drawing for the various streams now so i have already explained what, what is the, the civil engineering it is the most important okay so i have already explained whenever we, uh, we that means whenever we are going to purchase any home so that architecture uh, it shows us two views uh, the uh, it, it shows up three views so this is the isometric view this is the isometric view that is the three dimensional drawing and then it shows us two views okay so that is the front view and top view of the of this house that means if you look this house from this direction so this is this is the front view of the house okay this is front view so this is the front view and if you look this house from the top from here from this direction so this is the top view of the house okay so 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 these types of drawings are there when 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 you when we are going to purchase any house okay so this is the, the this is the uh, the the pillar okay so that is for the uh, the uh, the over over base that is and this is the uh, the the uh, drawing for the uh, that means what uh, on the bridges okay uh, so these are there so civil engineering is the foremost important uh, engineering drawing it is very important okay and uh, they are really uh, they, they are connected with the construction work now in electrical and electronics so again you you will require when we when to design any uh, transmission lines uh, any electrical circuit or electronic circuit okay so whenever you are going to design this one again you need the basics of this engineering drawing so that is also very important in the in the area. this is this is uh, that means uh, you can when we are de designing this on the plain paper or in any software you have to follow the basic rules of the engineering drive. So engineering drawing is also very important in elect electrical and electronic engineering. Mechanical engineering. So mechanical engineering it, it involves the uh, the uh, the machine parts, design of the machine parts. So for designing the machine parts, so there are various software, 3D, 3D software, or whenever we are drawing this, or initially when this we call that as a drafter. Okay, when in each each in each and every industry. There is a uh, drafter. Okay, so that is we call it the drafter man. Okay, so that that person is uh, handling all these drawings. Okay, so whenever any part is designed, okay, so whenever any part is designed, so uh, the detailed drawings or detailed drawings of that part. So suppose for this one, these are the detailed drawings. So this is the responsibility of this drafter. Okay, so this is the one position there in the industry. Now nowadays we call this as a design engineer. We call that person as a design engineer, not a drafter. We call that person as a design engineer. Okay, so a uh, huge uh, that means requirement is there for the design engineer uh, in the industry. So these are the, some of the examples. How see how uh, the drawings are drawn? Uh, these are the complete drawings, so they are drawn within the context of the engineering drawing. Now, what about the computer <coughs> AIDS and IT engineering people now? Now, if 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 this you know, we know that this computer AIDS and IT engineering people they are mostly uh, involved in the development of the software. Okay. Now, when these persons are involved in the developing the software, that means suppose if a mechanical person goes to the IT uh, computer AIDS or IT engineer student uh, engineer, uh, so uh, and he asks him to develop the software. Okay. That means design software or drawing software. So 
so whenever when that uh, the, the mechanical engineer he explains the drawing so when he explains the drawing to the it people or computer people so he must also uh, he must have he, he must also have the knowledge of the drawings then only he will understand what that mechanical person or skill person is saying okay and then based and based on that only he will design the software okay so that means the uh, design while designing the software he must also have these these people must also have the uh, the knowledge of the drawings then only he can he can program the uh, pro, uh, program it in the in the, uh, in the in software and then on then only the software uh, the software get uh, created okay so this is very important for this type of people that means basic whenever you understand the concept then only you can program it okay so that's why uh, the, the knowledge of this uh, engineering it is very important for the computer the ideas and it people also because it is not there that you will get that means some people get in the job, uh, jobs in the software uh, software so the paper gets in the but uh, you but the the job maybe you will get in the automotive industry okay in the civil construction industry so wherever there there that person whenever that boss asks you to develop some software related to support automotive industry so or civil industry so he will they will provide you on the drawings so they will provide the drawings and they will ask you to design that uh, design that, that in the software okay so that means you you this people must have to uh, they must understand this type of drawings or you must have the basic knowledge to read the drawings okay that is very important okay so this is for the computer and the ideas and it engineering okay now <clears throat> once this is over now we'll go for the drawing instruments so what are what are the drawing instruments we required uh, for this subject now uh, i will explain all the drawing instruments and then we will will collect uh, what are the important drawing instruments are there for our syllabus okay so that i will mention afterwards so, so first of all what is the, uh, the first is the drawing board and the table okay now what is this drawing board so this is the drawing board okay so this is made of wood Okay, this is made up of wood. This is having two uh, two buttons here. So these are the two buttons here, and this is having the uh, one plane surface. So this is the plane surface. Okay, so this is the plane surface where we put the drawing sheet. Okay, so this is our plane surface. Okay, we here we put the uh, the drawing sheet. Okay, these buttons are uh, at the underneath. Okay, and this is for, this is the uh, this ebony working edge, or this is the this is called the ebony working edge. This is only on the one side. Okay, this is called as the ebony or working. For what purpose we are? This is there. We will see afterwards. Okay, I will. I will. Uh, we will come back to this one. Ebony working edge. So this is only on the one side, and another another side is plain. Okay. So these are the strips. These are the wooden strips, and these are joined by means of the wooden strips. So one, two, three, four, five, and these are joined together. Okay, to form this uh, drawing board. Now the drawing board is uh, is placed on this type of the uh, the structure, and we call this as a uh, this this called as the we we call this as a drawing table. Okay, and the person can uh, place the drawing sheet here. Okay, on this work uh, on this drawing uh, uh, board, and he and he can work uh, by sitting by taking the chair here. Okay, or by standing. Okay, so if, uh, so we can draw we can construct the drawing here. Okay, so this is our drawing board. So drawing board is the the basic uh, uh, drawing instrument used for the engineering drawing. Now there are the different designations for the uh, this drawing board, and it is uh, designated as a D. Okay, it is mentioned by means of D. So D zero means uh, the drawing board is it is having the length of one five zero zero mm and one thousand mm. So one five zero zero by one thousand mm. So that is the uh, the uh, length and width of the uh, drawing board okay so if it is d0 for a d1 it is 1000 by 700 and for d2 it is uh, 700 by 500 and for a d3 it is 500 by 500 now for this type of board d0 you can use the uh, drawing sheet a0 uh, for d1 you can use a1 for d2 it is, you, we can use a2 size of the sheet and for d3 you can use a3 size of the board for the uh, students uh, it is recommended uh, the, it is recommended the uh, board board side is, is D2. Okay, so D2 D2 board side is recommended for the students, which is having the dimensions of uh, the 400 by 500, and which type of drawing sheet you can use here A2 size you have to use. Okay, so that you have to remember. Okay, so this may be the uh, MCQ questions in your examination. So for the drawing board, or what is the designation of the drawing board for the first year engineering? It is a D2. It is having the dimensions of 700 by 500, and which type of drawing sheet we are going to use? It is A2. Okay, so that we have to remember. 
ठीक है दिस इज द फर्स्ट इंस्ट्रूमेंट दैट इज आवर ड्राइंग बोर्ड ओके दिस इज ड्राइंग बोर्ड ड्राइंग बोर्ड इज प्लेस ऑन द टेबल सो दैट बिकम्स आवर ड्राइंग टेबल ओके नाउ दिस इज दिस इज आवर द ड्राइंग हॉल ओके सो इन ऑफलाइन मोड वी कंड वी कंडक्ट द प्रैक्टिकल्स एंड द थ्योरी इन द ड्राइंग हॉल सो दिस इज योर ड्राइंग बोर्ड एंड दिस इज योर ड्राइंग टेबल ओके सो एवरीथिंग इज देयर ओके सो दिस इज देयर इन द इन आवर कॉलेज ओके so next one is now the drawing sheet so we have now drawing board we have drawing table now we have to use what the drawing sheet now drawing sheet is a piece of paper okay this is the piece of the paper and now here this is also the, this is also having the different designation now from a0 so this is a0 a0 means what it is the total dimension this total dimension is there okay complete sheet complete sheet means it is a0 okay now this sheet this 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 part of the sheet is what a1 this is a1 okay now this part of the sheet is what it is a2 sheet 594 by 420 and this part of the sheet is what it is a3 okay and this part of the sheet is what it is a4 size okay now here it is a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 it is given okay so a0 means what a0 means this is complete sheet that means 1189 by 841 okay now this is called a trim size trim size means it means what this is the exact size this is exact size of the uh, exact size of the drawing sheet this is the exact size now what is meant by this untrimmed size now when we purchase the sheet it is not it is not comes exactly of the of the of the size that means a, a0 is having the dimensions of 841 into 1189 but when we purchase the sheet it is not coming of the same size but it is somewhat bigger it is somewhat bigger and we call we will call that age The, the the outside edge as a untrimmed untrimmed edge so this is our untrimmed edge this is our untrimmed edge what is what do you mean by untrimmed edge means what uh, what uh, suppose required the drawing sheet of suppose we take this one example a2 so it is having the size of 420 by 594 but <clears throat> when we purchase the sheet so it is not it, so this is this is the, this is uh, it, it is not of 420 by 500 but we will get of 450 by 625 that means somewhat bigger so the whatever the age of that the bigger bigger sheet is there so that is uh, the the uh, that uh, drawing sheet is there so we call that as the untrimmed size but we don't require this dimension which dimension 450 by 6, 625 so inside that they will mention one border here something like this inside this this one the, the outside rectangle and this side this is uh, this is having the size of the a2 okay this is having the a2 okay and some space is is, uh, is here uh, they uh, some some space will uh, they, they they will give uh, provide some space here okay so so have you understood this one <clears throat> See, when we purchase the uh, sheet so it is having bigger dimension okay and in that big dimension there is the uh, the accurate dimension is mentioned inside inside that in, or, or on that uh, that bigger sheet of that 420 by 594 okay that means initial sheet is of 450 by 6, uh, 625 that is unstream size and inside that we have the trim size so this is our trim size that is 420 by 594 and outside sheet is of what 450 by 625 okay so this is outside the sheet okay so this is outside sheet and this is what this is inside sheet so outside sheet it is called as untrimmed size and the inside uh, sheet is the uh, the uh, the border it is called as 420 uh, it is called as the trim size okay so you have to remember this one, what is untrimmed uh, size and what is the trim size okay <clears throat> now for our engineering purpose we are using we are going for this a2 size okay we are going for the a2 size we have to draw all the drawings on the a2 size drawing okay so this is the a2 size drawing. but now since it is suppose it is not possible for you to draw this uh, you to take this a2 size because in offline mode we will take uh, this drawing sheet that is of a2 size but if it is not for, now here uh, if it is not possible so you go for you you take this sketchbook of a3 size okay purchase the sketchbook of a3 size sketchbook of okay so purchase uh, one or two sketch book of a3 size okay and we will 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 do all the uh, drawings on this a3 size only uh, okay okay so everything we will do on the a3 size we will not take this one a2 size uh, because this is bigger okay you can handle easily uh, and we, this is uh, for a2 uh, a2 size of the drawing sheet we require drawing board okay okay this a2 size it fits on the drawing board but uh, this a3 size it is it is the smaller size 
and you can easily uh, you put it put on the smaller table also or on the ground also and we can we can construct everything on the a3 size so you take the sketchbook of a3 size okay you go for the sketchbook of a3 size so we will construct everything uh, from our practical examples and and uh, examples from our regular examples on a3 size sketchbook okay so this is the first thing you have to purchase so that is the sketchbook of a3 size okay but for uh, general purpose that means when we uh, that means when we have to draw the uh, the in offline mode so we are going for what a2 we are going for a2 size paper, okay so this is for offline mode okay whenever we have the uh, the drawing board and everything so a2 a2 size drawing sheet is preferred for construction for drawing everything okay but now in in online mode we will go for this uh, a3 size okay you will go for this a3 size okay now now what what you have done we have taken the drawing board we have the drawing paper so this is our this is our drawing board okay this is our drawing paper now when we put the drawing paper uh, that is the drawing sheet this is our drawing sheet when we put the drawing sheet on the on the drawing board so we have to fix it okay so for fixing it we have to use here the clips <clears throat> so clips are there so these are the clips okay so we have to fix here this this drawing sheet on the drawing board by uh, using the clips okay you can use the pins also so we can put it here pins also here on the four, on the on the four, on the four corners or you can use here the tape also okay so you can uh, you can you can fix it by means of the uh, the tape also something like this okay so you can you can paste here the tape okay like this or you can insert the pins or you can insert the clip generally this clip are used uh, for fixing the drawing sheet on the drawing board okay so this is there uh, here you, you can see here okay so this is our drawing sheet okay and this is of a2 size <clears throat> this is of a2 size drawing board is of d2 size okay this, this you have to remember huh? uh, this is uh, and then uh, we have fixed this drawing sheet using the clips here is the clips are there okay this is the clips are there okay so third one is what this is the clips okay so we don't require this now because <clears throat> in offline mode we require this one now we don't require this thing okay so what we don't we requ require uh, we don't require drawing board also we don't require table <clears throat> we require drawing sheets but uh, <clears throat> we are not going for a2 we'll go for the a3 so sketchbook of a3 a3 size uh, we don't require this one the clips and other things okay now four pencils so we require the pencils now which which type of pencil you will purchase you have to purchase the pencils of three size or the three grades hb uh, then h and 2h okay so these types of the the grades, uh, the different grades of the pencils you have to use. Okay, along with the pencils, you have to use the uh, the sharpener, and you have to use the good eraser. Okay, so this is required. So first is the you have to we we required here the uh, sketchbook of uh, the A3 size, and then we have to require the pencils of three grades. Okay, we have to take the pencils of HB grade, then H grade and 2H grade. Okay, so particularly ask that shopkeeper to uh, to give these types of pencils so i will i will mention all these things in the, uh, uh, in, the in the list of uh, the instrument afterwards okay so just remember we have to take the uh, pencils of this hb grade edge grade and 2h grade okay so this is regard this is regarding what this is regarding the pencils then t square okay we don't require this t square but what is this t square then Initially, this uh, T square is used for the uh, for the drawing purpose. Okay. Now, what is this T square? So, this T square is basic. Is, is a, it is connected with the the support. One support is there uh, on one end, and it is having this scale. Okay. So, this is is called as uh, the this is this is called as the blade. This is total thing. Total scale is called as what blade. This is called as the blade, and the top uh, the top the line. This top line. Here, this is called as what working age age of the scale this is called, this is age of the scale it is called as what working age and this one this red or sometimes it's black also and this is called as head or stock so this is called as head this is called as head or stock this is head or stock this is called as what this is called as working age this is called as working age and total scale it is called as what it is called as the blade total scale it is called as the blade now for what purpose uh, this is used now for what purpose these are used these are used for drawing the horizontal lines 
how how this is used so if you see this animation here see this this c square it is fitted on one side of the drawing board okay one side of the now where it is fitted so uh, when we are study we are, when we are uh, the learn about this drawing board so i have told you it is having one ebony working edge so this is the working edge here if you see there are slots are there here if you see here there are the slots are there now for what purpose these slots are here these, these slots are there for in for inserting this t square okay for inserting this t square so this is that edge this is that edge in the uh, on the drawing board okay this is only on one side not here this is not on here slots are provided on one side of the drawing board for what purpose to accommodate this t square so this t square can this this t square can move uh, do forward and that means upward and uh, upward and downward using this these slots in the drawing board okay so for that purpose this the uh, the uh, the slot is provided on one side one edge of the drawing board to fit the t square okay so t square it is also of the four type uh, t0 it is having this scale length depending on this scale length this this length total length so if it is 1500 mm so then it is t0 uh, if it is 1000 then it is t1 if it is 7 uh, 7 uh, 700 mm then it is t2 and if it is 50 mm if the length of this is 50 mm then it is of t3 type okay so these are the types of the t square so for what purpose this uh, t square it is used uh, it is used for the drawing the horizontal lines on the drawing sheet okay these are used for drawing the parallel horizontal lines on the drawing sheet okay so for, for, for that purpose and where it is fitted it is fitted on the slot provided on the edge of the drawing board okay so here it is provided okay so so for that purpose the edge is the edge is marked in the drawing sheet so here this is the slot is marked on the one side of the drawing board okay so to fit the what the t square okay so what we are doing now we have a drawing board we have placed the drawing sheet on this drawing board using the clip then we have put the t square also okay then we have the set square okay so we have the set square now now what is the set square we know that when we use the t square we can draw on the horizontal lines now if suppose we have to draw here the inclined lines okay inclined lines and other construction so then we then we have to go for the set square now set squares are of two type one is the 45 degree set square this is 45 degree set square okay this is 45 degree set square and the another one is what it is 30 60 okay this is 30 okay and this one is the 60 so th this is 30 60 some, some angle okay. so this is 30 de 30 60 degree set square and one, another one is the 45 degree set square so using this two set square on you, you have to put it on the t square you have to put it on t square and then you can construct you can draw this the lines required uh, required for the drawing okay inclined lines then uh, the vertical lines or any type of lines you can you can uh, we, we can draw using this set square oh sorry t, uh, t square okay t square plus uh, the set square combination okay so what we are doing here so we are using here both we are using t square also and we have put the uh, set square on the t square and then we are we are we are drawing the lines okay so these combinations are used earlier <clears throat> okay previously uh, these combinations are used okay so uh, uh, whenever whenever there is a drafter is there also draft, draft draftman is there this is, that, that person is called what draftman okay so that person is called the draftman or drafter so the, these persons are using these types of the uh, the instrument okay so they are using t square and along with that t uh, t square they are using the set square for the construction of the drawing okay but nowadays we are not going we are not using the t square and we are not going we are not using this t square and set square so now <clears throat> because now the technology has changed so for what uh, for now what, what we are doing we are going for the mini drafter so this is very important for the civil civil engineers okay they they, they require this one uh, uh, mini drafter <clears throat> they definitely require this one because civil engineer civil uh, civil engineering students they have to draw uh, the, the they have drawings in their uh, second year third year and final year also so this they require this mini drafter okay so only for the civil engineers uh, the mini drafter is important okay so you can uh, if you purchase this mini drafter also it is it is okay or you can take it from your seniors also now what is this mini drafter so i have told you we are not uh, we uh, that means we are not using t square and set square 
for the drawing, but we are going for now the advanced uh, the instrument that is called the mini drafter. Now mini drafter is something like this. <clears throat> it is having the clamp, so the clamp is fitted on the drawing board. So here this is there. So you have to fit it on the drawing board. Okay, so here something like this. So here it is one screw is there. Okay, and you uh, using that screw you fit it on the drawing board on on one side. Okay, on one corner. Then it is having the parallel arms. Uh, these, these are uh, these are rotating. Okay, and then at the bottom here, it is having one. It is having one scale, one horizontal scale, and one vertical scale. It is having one horizontal and vertical scale. Now using this scale, we can draw the horizontal lines, vertical lines. Okay, like this. Okay, and when you want to draw the inclined line, suppose when you want to draw the inclined line, then here on this circle, on this circle, we have the angles. Here the angles are marked. So you can rotate this uh, this scale, okay? So you can rotate this scale something like this. You can rotate this scale something like this, and you can draw here the inclined lines using the uh, like here. You can draw here the inclined lines, okay? So inclined lines are possible. Drawing here, uh, we can we can draw the inclined lines using by turning this scale. We can turn this scale, okay? So on this one here here there is also one screw is there, and we can turn this one, okay? So that is possible. So so this is the 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 advanced instrument that is used for drawing the lines on the and using this mini drafter the drawing is uh, that means uh, construction of drawing is very very easy or it is very simple okay so nowadays all the engineers they are going for mini drafters and this is the earlier uh, instrument that is used for the, uh, the construction of the drawing that is the t square plus z square okay so nowadays we are not we are not using three strand sets well, but we are using what the advanced instrument that is called as the mini drafter. Okay, this is called as the mini drafter. Okay, so in construction it is very simple. It is having one uh, horizontal scale and vertical scale that is our joint, and here on the circle we have the angles. So we can tilt this scale in any direction, and we can draw the inclined inclined lines uh, whatever uh, inclined lines on the drawing sheet. Okay, so that is possible. Okay, and we can move this. Uh, we can move, move. We can move this uh, scale anywhere. Okay, so we can take it here also, here also. We using these arms. Using these arms, you can take it anywhere. Okay, so to, on on the total sheet, we can move this scale and we can draw anywhere. Okay, we can take it here also, here also, here also. We can draw it anywhere. Okay, so this is what this is called the minute drafter. Okay, so in offline mode, we uh, this is required. Now online, we don't require this one minute drafter also. So don't go for this one also. Okay. But just remember the uh, instruments here. Now the next one is what the compass. Okay, the next one is what the compass. Now comp you know this one compass. Now what, for what purpose we are using this for, for drawing the arcs, for drawing the arcs and the circles. Okay. Now if small circle is there, we are going for this type of the compass. And if the the well, that means the the radius is more, so we are using what lengthening bar. So the, this type of the uh, compass are there where we can remove. We can remove this, uh, this, the way, or we can add here lengthening bar, and we can increase this radius. Okay, we can increase this radius here. Okay, so for drawing the, uh, the longer that means large radius circles or large radius arcs, so lengthening bar is attached to this, uh, this compass. Okay, for smaller circles, we are going for this one because here this, this uh, here it is having less. Uh, the uh, it, it covers only less radius. Okay, so this one is for this is the short one, and this is for the uh, for construction of the uh, the circle or arc for the longer radius. So for for doing this, we have to we have to attach here what we have to attach here the lengthening bar. But for our purpose, this is sufficient. Which one? The smaller one. This sufficient. We can take this one also. So composites are used for drawing the arcs and the circles. Then we have the French curve. Okay, now for what purpose these French curves are used? So you might be heard of this French curve, but we require this in your, uh, you know, uh, in unit number three. Now suppose if we have the number of points, we have the number of points. We have to join these points. So we can we we can make use of this French curve. So when we when we put this French curve and uh, then we then uh, three or four points it comes in uh, comes on the corners of this it comes on the corners of this French curve and then you have to join it. Okay, you have to, we you, we can join it perfectly. So to join three, uh, that means more than three or four points perfectly, uh, we can, we are using this French curve. So here you see this one. See, we are joining these points. Okay, here also we are joining these points. Here we are joining the point, and then we'll complete. We will complete this this total curve. 
so this we have to draw in the our unit number uh, three okay so we will get there the uh, the series of the points we will get the there the series of points by marking by using by marking the compass using the compass we will mark these points and then how to join all these points so for for joining these points we have to use here the french curve so french curve we required here okay so this is this we have to purchase okay for our syllabus so we have to go for the french curve okay so for what for what purpose the french curve is used when we have the series of the points and to join all these points in the form of the curve or line then we have to go for the french curve okay so we will purchase the french curve here okay then the next thing is what the roller and draw scale so <clears throat> instead of this uh, the mini drafter instead of going for the mini drafter so you can manually we can you can we can manually draw using the roller and draw scale okay here also we what we are doing we are moving the scale okay but we are moving the scale using this uh, this arm uh, but uh, using this now we can manually roll the scale this is a roller this is this is the roller here in inside this scale and you can roll this scale okay we can roll this scale and by, by rolling this scale we can draw parallel lines inclined lines and all these things okay so this is possible using, using this roller scale so you go for the big roller scale you go for bigger scale so, so required roll and draw scale go for the bigger scale don't purchase this one small one we we'll go for this bigger roller scale now this roller scale will will uh, will work for your drafter okay don't uh, don't purchase the drafter go for the roller scale okay we use roller scale we can we can draw all the drawings in our engineering syllabus okay so i recommend to purchase the roller scale use bigger roller scale okay so this is roller means what here we have the roller and we have the scale and we can roll it okay we can draw here the parallel lines inclined lines everything we can draw okay so that is possible there then after that now the the next one is the protector now you know that the protectors are used for measuring the angles now here this is the this is the base for zero okay so this is the baseline okay this is the baseline so if you measure from this direction so from left so then we have this is 0 10 up to this is 180 and if you start from this end so we have this is 0 up to the 180 okay like this okay now if you see here uh, in the animation so we have two inclined lines if you have to measure the angle between these two inclined lines using the protector so you have to put this bottom baseline Uh, uh, uh you have to match this bottom baseline on on one line here so you have to match this so that on that line we'll get zero first here this is zero degree and then up to here so this is how much this is 115 okay this is 115 okay so likewise you know this one how to use the protector okay so this is very important okay so the whenever we are using or whenever we have any reference line so you have to keep the baseline of this protector on this reference line and then we have to measure the angle okay so that is the use of the protector to measure the different types of the angles okay so <clears throat> this is uh, the uh, regarding the types of the uh, the what uh, the types of the drawing instruments okay so i hope you understand all these types of the uh, drawing instrument uh, sheet layout we will discuss in the in the next lecture okay and today i will uh, i will post the uh, the uh, this, uh, the instruments that you that we required for our syllabus it is only four to five things you have to purchase okay so that i will put it on our uh, whatsapp group and on the google classroom okay so if you have any any queries regarding the today's lecture you can ask otherwise we will stop here then so any questions from your side you can ask uh, regarding the uh, to, today's lecture or just put your roll number in the chat box and we'll stop here any question from your side sir basics of pdf tumhi classroom la taknar ka sir sir basics cha atta cha jo he yes 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 uh, i will post this video uh, this, uh, this video lecture on, on our google classroom and i will i will 